it's um quite funny actually. Um, I was not expecting to do this this early in the year, but here we are once again. <laughs> so, Devils lose tonight, four three to the New York Rangers in a shootout. Now, I'll admit, we actually did pretty damn well in the shootout for once. It lasted seven rounds. Good for them. But, just like always, can't win them. And when we do, it's a shocker. But, as always, <laughs> So, once again, like all the videos I do, where do we go, excuse me, from here? Now, I'm going to get this. It's 14 games into the year. 14 games. Tonight. Tonight was the 14th game of the year. And the New Jersey Devils have a record of 7, 4, and 3. 14 games into the year. Now, oh, you're overreacting. I might be. I might be, but it's not looking good. It's looking like the same old devils once again. Let me fix my jersey too. I can see it in the camera reflection. It's kind of, I don't want that getting all muffled up. Eh, whatever. So, 14 games of the year. We just lost a back-to-back -back regulation loss Saturday against Boston. Shootout loss tonight against the Rangers. I mean, I, 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 I have no words. I, I, I don't know what to say anymore. It's just the same thing over and over again, year after year, with this team. And this year now is the injury bug year. Now, everybody decides to get injured this year. Just our luck. I was there opening night against Chicago. It wasn't pretty, because they almost blew another lead on opening night and lost. But when Jack Hughes scored that overtime goal and threw his stick into the crowd, I felt confidence. I haven't felt that way about this team in how... God, I want to say at least a pass... At least... Six years, maybe even longer. It was amazing. But now, ugh, now it, it's just back to the same old thing. I just so. Let's talk about tonight's game, because it just happened, and then we'll look ahead. So we're going to go tonight's game first, and then we're going to look ahead. So tonight, um, it definitely showed this team was on a back-to-back, -back, especially way early in this game. Oh, God, I want to say for at least half of the first period, this team is just zombies out there on the ice. They look dead. They look tired. That you look like, oh God, they, it was bad. It was really, really bad. And the Rangers took advantage of it. They were up like uh, five, nothing in shots on goal at one point. They, they, they were just outplaying us. And, and funny enough, the Rangers played last night as well, Saturday, but they were in Columbus. So they had a, granted they won, but they had a fly home. To play tonight, and we just had to take the bus across into the city. But the Rangers looked like they, they, they were the better team. So it was that at first. But then, oh baby, Dawson Mercer. This kid, if it wasn't for the, the couple rookies up there in Detroit, Mercer would have uh, the car. This would be Mercer's car door. And unfortunately, I don't know if he's going to get the media attention enough. To be a part of that conversation. 
But if I was voting, Mercer would easily be number three in the Cardinal voting. So, but this kid, Darson Mercer, is a stud. He is a stud. A beautiful pass to Jesper Bratt. Scores on a breakaway. one nothing Devils. I'll take it. It's one nothing after the first. I will take that every damn day of the week. Especially coming off a, a, a loss at home the day before. So it's one nothing Devils after one. Second period begins. It's looking even. And then... Oh boy. Ugh. Rangers get one and then they get another. And it's then, then it's now two to one New York. So they have completely taken over the game. Scoring two two goals. Two unanswered goals. Making it two to one them. And I'm just like, oh boy, here we go. I I was ready to turn the game off at this point. I wasn't feeling it. I'm like, Ugh, it's just it's it's a bad weekend and not going to get any easier, as we'll get to later on in this video. So, it's 2-1 in the second. But then, oh baby, Dougie Hamilton. Thanks to former devil Kevin Rooney getting tripped up on himself. He just fell, basically. Dougie Hamilton, a beautiful shot going barred down on the power play. Makes it 2-2. Two to two. I, I, I've i said it so many times. When this team tries, they can compete with any team in the league. Look at what they did to the Panthers. The Islanders. Yeah, the Bruins game uh, Saturday. Yeah, but when this team can try, they can compete. And you, you can say that to any team. Look, I'll admit, that's nothing new. That's just nothing specific to the Devils. I'll admit, you can say that to any team. If they could try in any sport, they can win a game. But this is my team. This is the team I grew up the most watching. Hockey is my favorite sport of all time. This is my all-time favorite team. So, kind of means more. So, 2-2 two, two at that point going into the third period. And then... <laughs> it was funny enough... Um, the MSG broadcast on the Devils and uh, Bryce Salvador was coming. They were coming back from commercial. And Bryce was talking about how this team is young. And if they could just stay competitive for the third period. It, it, it was, it was going to show how this young team can fight. And he was in the middle of talking. And he said, don't make a mistake. Don't have a turnover. What happens? Bad turnover. Capo Caco scores. Uh, elbowing Mackenzie Blackwood in the head while he was scoring to give the Rangers a 3-2 lead. Blackwood was down. He was hurting bad. And I can only... I, I was looking on the uh, Twitter and the Rangers fans. Oh, that's what uh, you get because uh, P.K. Subban, blah, 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 slew foot, blah, blah, blah. That's on you. Blah, blah. I don't even know if they kind of looked at that anyway for interference. Come on. Elbowing a goalie? Really? You scumbags. You pieces of shit. Whatever. So it's 3-2 Rangers now. Blackwood continues to play, but the next stoppage of play... Um... He was he has to he was told he has to go through NHL concussion protocol, which is fair. He got hit in the head. Trano came down and asked him. He he, he shook his head no, but he has to go through concussion protocol. So I, I it didn't look good from initially looking at it. I pray to God he's okay. I I, I pray to God, but. We'll see what happens. So, Jonathan Bernier comes in now, who just played a full game yesterday. Wasn't expecting to play tonight. And honestly, for him coming in this situation, this isn't on him. He, he, he played the best he could. 
coming in. No, He took the warm-up, but he knew he wasn't going to be the starter, so he's just been on the bench the whole game. He played the best he could. This isn't on Jonathan Bernier. Guy played the best he could, and that's all I can ask of someone. So thank you, Bernier, for trying. So, 3-2 at this point. Game's just starting to drag. Clock's ticking down. And I'm just mentally thinking of a loss at this point. I'm not even just, you know, I'm just like, all right, whatever, it's game over. I was not watching as I was in the bathroom at the time doing the business. And I come back and it's 3-3. Three, three. Pavel Zaka. This team loves to score these late goals to get us back in. And I, this is like, what, the third Second, third time this year this has happened. But Pavel Zaka, late. I think it was about two minutes left. A little above two minutes. Um, comes and scores and makes it 3-3. Three, three. So, we're going to overtime. 3-3. Three, three. Team gets a point. All right. They didn't deserve the point, but they got a point. Goes to overtime. And for like the last, oh God, I want to say two, almost two minutes, we had them pinned. We had them pinned in their own damn zone, man, and couldn't get the job done. Ugh. And then it goes to the shootout. The seven rounds happens, and yeah, it was it was eventually going to happen. I just, this team isn't made for the shootouts, and I don't like the shootouts, and I could say this as someone as a team who struggled in it, but you could ask another fan, like a Blackhawks fan, and they could be like, oh, we love the shootouts, but my team, nah. Make it 10 minutes, 3-on-3 three three overtime, and if no one scores, game ends in a tie. Because the shootout is just a, it's just a, it's a glorified skills competition. Why? Why are all games ending like that? It should end with competitive play with someone scoring, not with, oh, we have playmakers, so do 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 go, yay, game ends. No. Mm -mm. No, so. Devils lose 4-3. Boy. And it goes back to the thing I always start these videos with. Where do we go from here? And I know it's cliche at this point, but seriously. Injuries have taken a toll. We got our young superstar still out, still recovering from his separated shoulder. And if the timetable is back, hopefully he's back by early December. The special teams... Yeah, man, they, they've been getting a little better, but still, the, the numbers are still way down. Relying on goaltending, once again. And, I hate to say it, lack of goal scoring. Some of the guys who we depended on haven't showed up this year. So, ugh. And I know I said at the beginning of this, are you overreact? Am I going to be overreacting? Yeah, I, I don't know. 14 games in, it just it seems like once again we are in the same trap that we always in. It's just it's gonna. It feels like a never ending cycle. And when is it gonna end? I didn't want to make this video this early. I really didn't. And the way they played against Florida and the Islanders. False hope, maybe, but again, I said it. It, it. This team can compete with anyone. If they put their heart to it. Seven goals on the Panthers. 
f four, yeah, four to the Islanders. Eleven total goals against two of the top teams in the Eastern Conference. In games you weren't projected to win in. And yes, Saturday was a loss. It was a, it was an ugly game, and I expected it after coming off two games that you this team shouldn't have won. They would do for a dud. And they were in it up until the, um, what was it, the, um, I, I forget what number goal total, but it was, it was, it, they were down by one in the third, Saturday against Boston. And they were pushing, but Boston scores and th that's it. So they go on to win. And now tonight, I don't know. I really don't know. Pray for Mackenzie Blackwood. Hope he's okay, but I don't know. I I, I just I, I I don't know what to say that hasn't already been said because it feels like the same damn thing over and over and over again. And I'm really <sighs> man. I don't know. I I really don't know. So, we'll see what happens. Ottawa Tuesday. Unfortunately for the Senators, they currently have nine players on the NHL COVID protocol list right now. So, who knows the state of that game. But then after that, the team's got to travel to Florida to face both the Panthers and the Lightning. We're in the meat of the schedule now. This ain't October anymore when you had five home games to start the year. We're into the heart of the... We're into the season now. Team's got to try and find itself. So. We'll see what happens over the next week. And, um... I certainly don't want to be making another one of these videos anytime soon. So, hopefully, if the team... Stay steady enough. The next video I will make will be at the um, Olympic break in February. If things don't go well, well, I might have to make the um, another video sooner. And I really did not want to do this tonight, but I just felt I had to come and talk. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you enjoy these videos, click like, subscribe. I don't really care. I don't even know why I'm saying that. Like, I'm some major YouTube maker. I'm just a guy who roots for a team in New Jersey and just needs to rant. So, if you enjoyed it, thanks for watching. And, um, let's go Devils.